Hi guys, it's Miss Russell and we are ready for day two of our zebra pattern project. Last week we worked on the background and we filled our background with a line pattern. We talked about different kinds of lines from our zigzag, our wavy line. We talked about vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines. We even did a loop-de-loop -loop line. Well, today we're going to work on our zebra's body. We're going to cover the zebra's body with a color pattern. My color pattern went blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. And I even put it on the legs of my zebra. To do this, I'm going to give you different kinds of colored construction paper that you're going to get to cut up and glue down onto your zebra's body. Today, you're going to have a piece of paper that looks like this. This is the side of the paper I want you to write your name on. So you're gonna set it down and write your name. Make it nice and big so I can see it. That is the back of our paper. Now I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna turn it over so I can't see my name. But I need to kind of get it out of my way for now because I need to cut up my construction paper so that I can make my zebra stripes. You're gonna choose two colors, any two colors you want. I chose blue and orange. And we're going to cut this paper into strips, but the strips are gonna be really long. Look how long this is. So I'm gonna take my scissors, make sure that your thumb is in the small hole and then your fingers are in the big hole. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to see how many lines I can cut this piece of paper in. Take your time, cut all the way up your piece of paper only cut your construction paper. Don't cut your piece of white paper, just the colored construction paper. Keep going until you've cut it all, and then you need to cut your second color. And once again, you wanna go nice and slow and see how many lines you can cut your paper in. Once you're done, set your scissors to the side and we're gonna take the lines of paper we made. I cut some earlier too. And we're gonna glue them onto our white paper. Remember our name was on one side and then it's blank on the other side. But we have to make a pattern. So if I take it, see how my pieces are nice and long, just like my paper? And it's okay that they might be longer than my paper. If you look close, you might see it's longer. That's fine. I'm just gonna let it hang off my paper. But I want it to be nice and long like this. I'm gonna take my glue. Normally, I would tell you to use dots of glue. But today, today I'm gonna let you loose um, some lines of glue. So I'm gonna take it. I don't wanna make a puddle. I'm gonna squeeze my glue. Just a nice thin line of glue. We don't want too much glue because then it'll make our paper all wet and then it'll rip. I'm gonna glue it to my big piece of white paper and rub it down. Now I'm gonna make a pattern. Take your time and glue your pieces of paper all the way until it fills your piece of white paper. And then we're gonna let this paper dry because if we try and cut it and turn it into our zebra today, it would be really hard because this piece of paper is gonna be all wet and soggy. So once you're done, try and close your glue bottle, you gotta twist your cap. And next week, we'll cut our pieces up and glue them down to make our zebra. Thanks for creating with me.